doctors. Yeah. You guys fine. Have you had all three vaccinations? Have you ever had yeah. sex? So anyway, you could be pregnant right now. Probably describe your first sexual encounter. Uh. Hi, I'm H. Shimon Jones, and this is Emotional Labour, the show where we do the discourse so you don't have to. I'm joined today by the amazing, multi-talented Lemon Days, Isis, John T and Rosie. Thank you guys so much for coming. Obviously, I'm a massive fan of your music. And also, like, I've cornered you in your home. I mean, we live together. And they were roomies. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. Yeah, I have, like, locked the doors and windows. Yeah. First question today is actually for John T. Oh, what is it like being a man in the world of music? Like, what challenges have you uh, come up against? Um... You know, like institutionalized oh, uh, systemic issues. Yeah. Um, um, Can you speak for him? I mean, obviously, we don't want to take away his voice. Well, they always ask but... him, you in the band. Yeah. That, pressure that does happen a lot. Mm. Um, am I okay? Can I lift things? Can you lift these things? Sometimes. You guys recently posted on your socials that you are all straight. How are you best representing the heterosexual community? By not actually being straight. That is the best way to represent the heterosexual community, I agree. Have you guys played any shows with brown people on the lineup? There's a right answer to this. We're going to. I'm going yes, to. exactly, this first day. 60% of artists in the charts went to private school. When there's such a clear economic barrier to getting involved with music, do you guys have any advice for any budding musicians with regard to how to pull yourself up by your bootstraps? We all have the same 24 hours in a day. And try harder. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to so true. This is an elitist game. Don't get into it. You can't afford it. Go to private school. Never rich parents. There's too many bands out there anyway. We don't want a competition, right? Exactly. Yeah. Is wearing makeup a feminist act? Hell yeah. Okay. The man it. spoke first. Okay. Should all men be forced to do a full face every day to achieve equality, ultimately? I check the ass, the, the asshole. Mm. The lipstick. <laughs> I see, I see. Mine has been checked today. You put lipstick on your butt. What mm. shade are you wearing today? Dark rouge. Mm. Mm. Could you guys beat the members of Weezer in a fight? Yeah. Yo, you just got Weezer. Yeah. Maybe. I, I, I dab them all. Back yourself. I like that. I don't know really what they look like. Fifty-year-old men. Oh, are they? they yeah. Yes. Yeah. If they've got bollocks, the that makes so it's much sense. Easy. What's better, Cheerios or Shreddies? I don't do cereal. Yeah, I don't do cereal. They don't understand me because they don't know why I'm here. And when I do things that feels right, magic happens. That's the right answer. I don't, I don't um, really eat cereal either. Isis, it's shocking you would say that when both cereals are owned by famous child exploiters, Nestle. Nestle. They actually campaigned to make water not a human right. Um, did they actually? They actually did, yeah, in Latin America. <laughs> so that speaks volumes. Nestle. Apologies to Nestle. Wait, no, not apologies to Nestle. No. Apologies to the children. Would you guys like to send for any politicians? Like, start some beef? Ed Balls. Ed Balls. Fuck Ed Balls. Stop yeah, tweeting your name yeah, every year. Fuck Ed Balls. Your music draws in so many influences, but on a scale of Lewis Capaldi to My Bloody Valentine, where would you place Taylor Swift? My Bloody Valentine. At 10. Yeah. Okay. Would you agree? Solid Ed Sheeran. Massive influence on my life. Rasta man time. Now where I come from, born in with the desert habit. Final question for today. Who would you eat first on a desert island? <laughs> for the record, that was simultaneous. There was no communication. You'll be pure. <laughs> what, did he, what, did, what did he mean by that? But why did you pick the smallest member? Easy to take down. Oh, okay. You know what? That does make sense. But ISIS can put up a good fight. Less cooking time. She's a pretty selfless person. I feel like she'd do it for the group. Aww. This is lovely. Your emotional labour has been very appreciated. Got cramped up. Oh, I've lost the key. Oh no.